Hi and welcome to a combo tutorial for Devoted Druid. This is a green creature that can tap for a green mana and then untap itself by putting a minus one minus one counter on it. This naturally means that it won't go infinite as it will eventually die. However, there are several different tricks. The first one out is Swift Reconfiguration. This will transform this creature into a Wii Heikel and no longer be a creature. It is normally used as a form of spot removal to remove big creatures that are attacking. But when Devoted Druid and Swift Reconfiguration combines, you can basically put infinite minus one minus one counters on a Devoted Druid because it's no longer a creature. It won't die. A grand total of one green, one generic and one white mana for a two card combo feels pretty okay. The next one is Machine God's Effigy. You will make Machine God's Effigy enter as a Devoted Druid. The artifact will now have both the ability to tap for green mana and untap itself. And as it's an artifact and not a creature, it can actually have as well infinite minus one minus one counters on it and therefore infinite green mana. The third is Hazel Brewmaster. For this to work, Devoted Druid have to be in your graveyard, but that's quite easy to achieve. Just activate the minus one minus one untap effect twice and it will go to the graveyard. When Hazel ETBs, exile your Devoted Druid from your graveyard. And now Hazel will create a food token with the abilities of Devoted Druid. And this is the exact same concept as Machine God's Effigy. Now with this combo, there's a lot of potential utility cards that really helps out. I would highly like to recommend Survival of the Fittest. With this enchantment you can first search for Devoted Druid, then put Devoted Druid into the graveyard, search again for Hazel and boom! One card combo to assemble a two card combo. You can also use shared summons instant speed 5 mana to find both Devoted Druid and Hazel. Or if you already have Devoted Druid in play, you can use Eldritch Evolution to sacrifice Devoted Druid to your graveyard, find Hazel and done. But there are more worthy mention here as well. For example, currently the One Ring is pretty good. It's a good artifact in general. And if you want to include this combo together with the One Ring, like Machine God's Effigy, you could consider Tesseret the Seeker, because with Tesseret you can find the One Ring or use Tesseret to untap the One Ring, making Tesseret into like your secondary One Ring. That is also untapping like your Soul Ring, by the way. But Tesseret the Seeker can also find you your Machine God's Effigy. With an Enlightened Tutor, you can find both Survival of the Fittest, Swift Reconfiguration, or and Machine God's Effigy. But once again, you can also use it to find your Necropotence, Rhystic Study, and etc. So this is how you can potentially layer combos together. But how good is this combo actually? What's the final verdict for it? Honestly, it's actually pretty good. It's not one of the best options. But this is a combo that currently Tumna and Frasius have been heavily picking up. And currently, as you can see, Tumna and Frasius is doing pretty good. But depending on your color identities, this is definitely an option for various different commanders that could benefit from infinite green mana. In any case guys, thank you so much for watching and we hope you enjoyed this video. It is cool to see some hybrid creature combos doing some good and being more options for this format. Once again, it's probably not the best combo out there, but it's doing a pretty good job for the correct commanders. And it has been bringing Tumna Frasius back into action and also giving some options for Bunt commanders. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.